So we're going to jump right into segment number three. Mm-hmm. Um, we're going to talk a little bit about a couple music facts that I've been researching. And I just kind of want to share out with people. Okay. And um, yeah, we're going to lay it out. So, you know, music has been changing a lot and a lot, a lot. Before in the past, we had people who would be pressing actual CDs, getting them out to HMV and all these stores and selling physical stores. Now it's at 88% of the revenue generated in music is actually all through digital sales. So you got a lot of streaming coming. That's why it's important, as my homie Jen says, to have some sort of an online presence, right? Because right. you got 88% of, of, of people finding music through online. Like, they got to go stream it. They got to have an app. They got to have Spotify, Tidal, uh, Apple Music, one of those three. And, and, and that's how the music is getting found, right? So mm-hmm. you got to make sure that having an online presence is part of that plan, that marketing plan of yeah. building your, your, your repertoire. And then we we'll also want to talk a little bit about where we are currently with the music industry. Um, and, you know, it's been the largest it's ever been uh, since since it started. And mm-hmm. currently right now, the music business is worth about $20 billion. You know what I'm saying? So there's a lot of money to get out there. A lot of opportunities. There's a lot of opportunity with a lot of money. It's just finding ways to make yourself fit into this game and, and, and really have an imprint and, you know, mm-hmm. have a stamp and chokehold into this game. Right. Um, the other thing I want to talk a little bit about is about the, t- the timing of music and how long... A song should be played for. I feel like sometimes artists, um, you know, it changed a lot. Back in the day, you had music that was going on for five, six minutes. Mm-hmm. Nowadays, the average song is about three minutes and 42 seconds. Yeah. You got three minutes and 42 seconds to get off what you got to say on your, off your chest, and it's like, it's over. That's like normally the average time. And a, a, a little bit of why a lot of artists do that is because they're trying to get that replay value, right? So when you have a song, it's catchy, it has yeah. a catchy hook. Sometimes it's smart to shorten that out. Have them replay it, run them streams up, run the, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you that's some game funny, right there. What's so funny is I'm, I'm, I was negotiating a, a contract with a um with a lawyer, or whatever, with an artist that I'm you know gonna be doing some things with, whatever. And the lawyer Actually. tried to tell me because we had a, a term where it was like they um gonna deliver an album at least I think 40 minutes long or something like that, whatever. And the, and the lawyer tried to hit me with the clause. He was like, so, well, nowadays, um, we got to cut that down to 30 because the average length of the song is like uh, two minutes and 50 seconds, whatever. That's what he told me. I, 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 didn't, let, I, I didn't let that rock. I was like, nah, I need, I need three minutes and yeah. 30 seconds. Yeah, still, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what they're arguing now inside the yeah, contract. They're yeah. saying the average length of a song is two minutes and 50 seconds. I mean, wow, look at that. Like, they're trying to have that in contracts yeah, with you. So uh-huh. that's, you know what I'm saying? YouTube technically considers... 30 seconds of you or a click, whatever, depending on if you how, how you set your campaign up, whatever, right? Gotcha. So I just look at it as this, right? Um, if you start your song at the top, whatever, at, at the top of the record, my bad, I got the gas for the whatever. But anyways, if you um, if you start your your uh, record at the uh, at the top of the song, whatever, and then somebody has to consume that for 30 seconds, that gives them a like fair enough shot to judge. Okay, do I like this artist, whatever? It gives gotcha. enough time for you you to convert them into a fan, but. If your build up is forty seconds long, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Fifty seconds long. So back the way he's saying, whatever, the average, you know, say it, they consider thirty seconds a stream, whatever. So you guys gotta start starting these songs a little quicker. Like this whole ten seconds, fifteen second build up before the song start when nobody knows who you are, you do not have that, yo. You don't got that time. You don't have that, yo. No. Stun the Gambino, when he his first song that I worked for him, Heartless. You know what I'm saying I told I told uh manager Fat Ricky, shout out to Fat Ricky. Fat Ricky's the future, A and R the streets, whatever. So look, him. So I told him, I'm like, yo, we gotta start this at the top, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Cause I, I think it had like a short build up, whatever. He he listens to everything. He's like, I, I wanna win. So as soon as the same, the song started, beat come on, he's singing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's why that boy won. You know what I yeah, mean? Got Gives you. you enough time to convert them. You exactly, know what I'm saying? exactly. You building a fan base out of the first 30 seconds yeah. of your song, you know, uh-huh. and which is really important because I know me myself personally, if I hear a song, I know within the first 30 seconds if I'm gonna continue listening to this yeah. or if I'm gonna hit skip. Keep it a buck, yo. You know? Me, I do so many campaigns. I know within like the first note, yo. I mean, I'll be like, nah, this ain't it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. You've heard a lot of records, so yeah, definitely. <laughs> but the main the main objective is to try to get them a fan in the first 30 seconds, right. you know? You exactly. want to make sure you get that. Mm-hmm. Make that every moment count. Don't play around out here. 100%, yeah. you know? And um, the last fact that I wanted to throw out there is that um, there's actually three labels that own uh, 65% of the music industry right now, which mm-hmm. is basically more than half, mm-hmm. um, which is uh, Sony, ATV. Shout out to Sony. They just signed my producer for the night, slash Wonder Child. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we love Sony. <laughs> uh, and then um, Universal, they own 29%. Mm-hmm. And then you got Warner, uh, Warner Music, they own uh, 16%. So mm-hmm. those are the three big dogs, the big labels. When a lot of people are talking about they want to get signed, 
you're gonna understand. You're gonna have to understand that you're gonna be getting signed to under one of those three typically. You know, they own a lot of the joint ventures and a lot of the other under labels. So, mm-hmm. just a quick fact for y'all to get out there. No, we're gonna talk a little bit about uh, independent marketing versus label marketing. You okay. know, I know you had the experience of working with both. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, as as an independent artist, like. You know, what's, what would you say, like, is the best type of content to create? Like, Okay, cool. The best type of content to create, obviously, outside of a music video. Um, it's, well, first, it's the music video, because music video is a commercial for your brand, whatever, right? But I think what also works is, um, like, authentic-looking content. You know what I mean? So they'll be have certain content, like, okay, we, we got the market, the music video that we're marketing, and that's working. That's converting, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Or it's doing what it does, whatever. But then I'll see, like, I'll see... Okay, cool, artist. Why don't you just do a clip of you performing a song, doing an acoustic version, whatever? But don't record it with a high quality camera. Do it with your phone, so it look. It, it, you know what I mean? Little yeah, things like that yeah, makes it, it work genuine. better. Yeah, exactly. It, it works genuine. So I know. The, so a combination of a music video and authentic looking content, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's there, it, yeah. There that, you go. That, that, that's what takes you to the next level. You so, know? yeah, you know, apart from just the music videos, you want to try to add other organic ways to market mm-hmm. your music, like 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 you just pointed out. Right. Question now, if I'm signed to a music label, right? Right. Do I, should I rely on them solely to do the marketing? Hell or no. should I go out there and hot, <laughs> get that no. addition? To- <laughs> yo, you know why you should rely? Because, yo, when you, first of all, when you just get signed, depending on what level you were at when you got signed, you're not going to be a priority coming in the, in the gate. You know what I'm saying? The big, the, the big acts that are already on the label, they're going to be the big priorities. I mean, and on top of that, labels look at this shit like it's a business, whatever. Most artists, when they sign you, they're not expecting you to blow immediately. They're looking like you as like a three to five year situation. You know what I'm saying? So they're still building you up. So when you come in the game, they're going to give you like the smallest like recording budget. I mean, marketing budget. Because I had an artist that we was dealing with. And then, you know, I'm telling the label, okay, cool. Um, for this, whatever, I need like five bands a month, whatever. You know what I'm saying? And it was like, uh, yeah, you're going to get five bands for the quarter. I'm like, oh, wow. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So that made you go, okay, so that being the case, okay, cool. We're not going to, like, not win. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We're not going to not win. So guess what? We're going to go in our pockets, and we're going to fund our thing, too. They could do what the hell they do, but we're going to do what we got to do because nobody's going to do it better than yourself. And on top of that, lots of times, depending on who you have in-house, you know what I'm saying, the performance in house is going to be better than what the labels got going on. Because more hands on too, right? But more than that too, like most people, let's keep it. Most people who work inside, look at this shit as a nine to five. So at five o'clock they're done. But if you have an in house situation, you got got somebody that's going to be around just around the clock. And they're going to go extra hard with it. Definitely. Because we've had campaigns where okay, cool. On our end, you know what I'm saying we've spent like you know what I'm saying. Two thousand dollars in ads, whatever, and it's like, okay, cool. We got, I'm saying, X amount of hundreds of thousands, like five hundred thousand views, and then another label be like, yeah, we spent two hundred thousand. I mean, we spent uh two thousand, and we got a hundred thousand views, and that's a success. And you're looking at them like, what the hell are y'all talking, talking about? about? Yeah, <laughs> you know what yeah, yeah, So yeah, like, yo, it, but and if you look at all the major, all the major, like you know, hip hop dynasties and super labels and all that, whatever, yo, they've always done their own thing in house, yo. You can't rely on the, the, the label. That's the bank, yo. That's all that is, yo. Yeah. So you got to turn up for yourself on on the inside, you know what I mean? Got you, got you. Yeah, that, I feel, I feel, I really do feel you on that because I had some artists who came up to me and consulted with me about about marketing, and they told me like, yeah, you know, the label, they ain't really going that hard, you know, yeah. it's an issue. Well, you're not a priority yet. Man, you got you I got so and so who's been there for years, you know, putting out records, so. Definitely I, I, take that into your own hands. I think it's something more sinister going on, but I ain't going <laughs> to talk about it because I'm still, <laughs> yeah, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. But <laughs> it's something way more sinister going on. But look, guys, Definitely. though, you just got to know that, yo, you can never, ever, like, rely on other people to push you to success, whatever. You know what I mean? So, yeah. cool, you got a great label, you got a great staff, whatever, that's interested in your project, whatever. Just know that when you come in the game, you're not going to be a priority. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. You got to build your thing up, whatever. The only thing that's, I think that's dope about labels nowadays, though, they don't put you, they don't shelf you, yo. They yeah. give you a shot now. They give you a shot. They yeah, give you yeah, multiple yeah. projects to get your shit together. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So, it's only after it had them done ex- what they expected. They're like, okay, you right. know what? Let's get this money to the next person. Let's but put that, the budget. Exactly, but that takes a while too. Yeah, like, they, yeah. they give you at least three projects. They won't consider it an album and they won't go towards your what you owe them. You know what I'm yeah. saying? That's, that's the kind of funny thing, whatever. But yeah. still, though, yeah. you get those shots to build yourself up, whatever. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And uh, while you're getting those shots, if you're marketing yourself, you know what I'm saying? It allows you to build your name up, whatever. So even if it don't work out with the label. You'll at least have a, once you get get dropped or whatever, you'll at least have a base that you could restart from, whatever. You exactly, know what I'm definitely. So, you want to think about the future, if that might happen, you know? Yeah. It does happen, bro. Yeah. It happens, you know? Mm-hmm. More than you know. So, like, yo, I wanted to ask you as well, like, what is, what what are the, some of the things that labels do for artists once they get signed? How is the, some of the ways that they market them? Like, I know they uh, the PR gets a little bit better, because I know people are always talking about PR on this, on the, um, 
on the, like the, the independent that's side, a whatever. Fact. And it's that's and a it's, fact. And, it's, and they look at PR as okay, put me in this fucking uh, this defunct magazine or this defunct website that used to be cool, popping back in the day. But with the label PRs, they get you looks. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Interviews in certain places. They get yeah. certain key influencers to start talking about you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Um, the TikTok influencer game becomes a little bit more brolic. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, just know this this business is smoke and mirrors too. A lot yeah. of things you guys see, y'all think it's like, oh, that's that's real. Nah, it's, it's made to look real. You know what I'm saying? It's made to yeah. look authentic, whatever. So yeah. those are some of the things I know. I know the PR side steps up a lot. You know what I'm saying? And um, you know, uh, connecting with key influencers and stuff like that, and just creating, uh, creating uh, moments and creating creating moments that people could talk about online and creating like looks and stuff like that. That's Got what you. I noticed. The, the label bring to the table real well. You know? Got you. Okay, and if I'm an independent artist right now and, and, and I have my single, I'm running ads, I'm on I'm on TikTok, I'm on Instagram, I'm on YouTube, am I doing everything that I need to do right now marketing-wise? Like, am I missing anything? Man, look, real talk, I keep my operation so simple, right? Yo? The only thing you guys need to do is create fly content and put it in front of people every single day. So we don't even need TikTok. We don't need all that. Yo. Just if consistency. Yeah, exactly. If, if you're creating the ad, because here's the thing, right? The ads are not even magical, yo. They're not, yo. All marketing is is putting eyes on the offer, yo. So it's not magical at all, yo. You know what I'm saying? It, it, all it is is, is is literally that. Putting it in front of people so they can see it, whatever. You still have to convert them. So the most important thing of this whole marketing thing is you still, yo. Know what I mean? Got you. Got you got to you. You create for our content. You also got to show people you're still working. You know what I'm saying? So you got to... Cons- like, prime example, when you're running ads on Instagram, right? I've even noticed myself, whatever. Depending on how your first nine pictures look, whatever... Based on how you run the ads, that affects how how your you know I'm saying what the followers look coming in and look like. No, whatever, that's you know a mean? fact. That's a so fact. So it's like, yo, you got to make sure your thing is lined up nice, whatever. Make it look like you're you're out here working still. You're not because prime example, I've had people who hire me. You know what I'm saying we'll run ads, and then uh, Jen Zagul is working on it, so I'm going to stop posting altogether. Yeah, you know what I'm, nah. I'm not going to post nothing. So, but I, I always say use yeah. an analogy of. Running ads is like bringing, inviting people to your house. If you don't post anything, whatever, you're bringing them to an empty house. But yeah. if you're posting, they got a love seat over here. They got a pool Coffee table over here. Yeah. Have a television. I mean, yeah, so let yeah. me stick around here. I mean, yeah. I love it here. Let's go. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, 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 exactly. That's a good way to put it, bro. That's yeah. a very good way to put it. So outside of the ads, the ads is just literally that. You're, okay, we're bringing the traffic to you. This is high quality traffic. This is a group of people that I know is looking for this, whatever. You still have to convert them. You know what I mean? So if you're creating fly content, and you're staying active, whatever, yo. I'm saying, but the content is really dope, and you're running the ads. That's all you need. There you that's go. All you need. My last question for you today: uh, How do you go viral? I know you've been able, you've been a part of some viral videos yourself. Yo, you know so crazy. What is the formula? You know so crazy about the viral, yo. I don't even chase viral, yo. I literally don't, cause every campaign I do is based off of momentum, yo. Know what I mean, gotcha. I'm looking for time. People, here's the thing: you can't create viral, in my opinion. Creating viral is like lightning striking, yo. Know what I mean, gotcha. I'm not trying to make lightning strike. So what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to put it in front of new people every single day, and obviously we target old people, so we're creating a loop: new people tapping in with old people, new people tapping in with old people, and do that long enough, you know what I'm saying? So that boom. Yeah. Six months down the line, we have, have a moment, moment, and that's viral. Viral, viral you know? is like a seed. That shit yeah, grows, grows. Yeah, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, and then yeah. it happens. Even the, uh, the influencers who go like viral on social media, people be thinking, oh, this guy went viral. But you don't know, he got a hundred other videos. videos. Yeah, that you know was the one that went. Yeah, but that's he the one still that got, went. Yeah, 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 that's a fact. So it's like, yo, that's, that, that's, that's how you create viral, by consistently working. And by consistently working, you'll get better with your content, and you'll know exactly what your audience is looking for. And one day you'll create something that everybody relates to, and then... We out of here. You know what I'm saying? There you go. There you go, my guy. Bro. <laughs> Appreciate you coming through, dropping some gems, man. No doubt. The guy, Jens the Guru. You can follow him on Instagram. Shout out to your Instagram for the people, Instagram man. Instagram is Jens the Guru, um, J-E-N-S-T-H-E-G-U-R-U. Um, and I know most likely if you come across my Instagram, a lot of you guys are going to DM me saying you want to work, whatever. And what's going to happen is you're going to get an automated reply that's going to say, email me. Email me because that's where I conduct most of my business. That's where I conduct all my business, basically. Email me and we could talk there about you know how to... Lock in and make something happen. All right, there it goes, yo. So that's for all the artists is looking for someone to help with their marketing campaigns, uh, trying to grow some traffic to their music. You could definitely reach out to my guy, Jens. Yeah. All right, appreciate you for coming through, man. Thanks for my bringing guy. me, yeah. Yep.